Hi booktube, welcome back to my channel. So I've decided to start a new section in my YouTube channel. Basically I want to create a new playlist and it's just going to be like quick reviews. Just like my quick book review on any book that I've read recently, uh, something, I don't know, it's just a random selection basically um, of books that I really enjoy and it's just going to be a really quick video, like five minutes tops and it's just going to be telling you about a book that I read. So a lot of time I imagine I'll be wanting to talk about books that I've really enjoyed just because uh, I want to talk about them because I really enjoyed it. Um, like the one that I'm going to talk about today, I it's a new favourite of mine. So yeah, um, I'm just going to start doing this. We'll see how it goes, but um, if you do like it, please like this video and comment down below if you really enjoy it. Um, I, yeah, I just want to kind of do more reviews of books instead of just like book hauls or book shopping trips <laughs> um, because I do actually read as well like my hobby isn't just buying books shocking I know so yeah um, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about this book so today I'm gonna be talking about The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo and this book blew me away so uh, yeah if you want to hear what I have to say then keep on watching So, The Poet X. I read this book in like three hours. It's a very quick book to read because it is actually in prose, um, like poetry. So it's a very quick book to read. I don't normally like to read poetry, uh, just because I don't feel intelligent enough to understand it. I want to get more into it but I actually I got this book out at the library and I enjoyed it so much that George my partner wonderfully he surprised me with a copy of it because I would not shop about it <laughs> so this follows the story of a young girl called Siomara and she has been brought up in an extremely religious household with a extremely strict and religious mother to the point where it almost seems like abuse, how strict she is about her her religion. And it's basically a young coming of age story of Siomara and um, she gets her first crush basically at school. She comes to terms with the fact that she now likes a boy and she's never liked one before. And it's just her kind of exploring this new territory of enjoying the company of another person in a kind of relationship way but also going behind her mother's back because obviously her mother is extremely religious extremely strict and um, basically any kind of boys in the household is just a huge no-no and um, it's just kind of her internal processing of both realizing that you know this is something she wants and she enjoys his company and she enjoys the feelings that he invokes in her you know um the kind of you know the crush and this you know the like swoon that she gets you know it's like a young crush everyone has experienced it um and she enjoys those feelings that he invokes and it's that kind of side of things but also the kind of crushing guilt that she is experiencing from her family and her religion those are like the underlining premises to the story but um the one thing that i really enjoy is actually she is a poet um, she is realizing that she loves poetry and she loves expressing her inner thoughts through words and poetry and you get to see a lot of her poems sprinkled throughout this book as well and it's just beautifully written it is so incredible the story is just heartbreaking but so beautiful and it was so fast paced, like I, like I said, I read it in three hours, I literally could not put this book down. It was a beautiful and it is now easily a top read for me, possibly of all time. I literally enjoyed it so much that I would not shut up about it and George bought me a copy. So yes, I would 100% wholeheartedly recommend this book. Um, if you are not into poetry, that is fine. It is not a difficult book to read. It's told in prose, but it's not necessarily like difficult poetry to read, if that makes sense. It's very easy, very quick paced, wonderful messages spread throughout. Uh, it's wonderful seeing the main character's growth um, and her character development throughout as well. And just her coming of age story, getting to come to terms with herself and what she wants 
and what other people expect of her and how that doesn't quite correlate with the future that she wants. Yeah, it's heartbreaking and wonderful and I, it is a new, a new favourite. Um, so yes, I 100% wholeheartedly recommend The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I would have given it 10 out of 5 stars if I could. Beautiful a new favourite. Um, you need to read it. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this very quick uh, review video. I'm going to try and do these once a week because um, I read a lot of books and I like a lot of books. So yes, uh, if you enjoyed it please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my videos. I try and upload once a week but I've had a bit of time off but I'm getting back into it. And yes, I will see you in my next video. Alright, bye guys.